You know what really helps when you're when you're recording? If you hit the but red button to record, then you won't sit there and do a whole thing about a video that you're in the middle of editing and you needed needed some info given out and you won't sit there and do the whole spiel and then look up and realize you, did, you didn't hit the button. Okay, here's, the, here, here's what you missed. I am trying to cut down on clutter. I don't consider this in here to be clutter because it's, it's work materials. And you know, just like a guy's garage, he may have tools, you know, so it's work clutter. It's being used. And I'm trying to use things up before I buy something else. But here's the thing. I went to Dollar Tree the other day to get something. Um, I was in Dollar Tree and I noticed this particular one had paints and they had like art paints. Not the like little bottles like the um, in the craft area, but actual tubes of paint. And there was also canvas and brushes and all this stuff. And I thought, it's, I'm not going to waste my money on it. Over that night, I was thinking about it because how do I know it's not usable? How do I know? Unless I bought some and then went and tested it. So that's what I did. I went back the next day and I bought some things. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Let's, let's, let's switch to the overhead and then I'll tell you about it. These are the ones that I got from Walmart. I was hoping that they had the Grumbachers that I've seen there and I could test them out, but they didn't. But they did have these. Let me get that in screen. I've got swatch cards for everything. Let's go ahead and try these. Let me go ahead and do two of them and just see what they're like. I've got, let me get, let me get one of my regular paint brushes. I've got paint brushes here to test, but I think I'm going to do them separate. Okay. I grabbed a paint brush. It's just a cheapie. I'm not going to need a palette or anything for this. I do have gloves and I've got uh, paper towels here, shop towels. Come on, come on, baby. I reuse these if you can't tell. Let's see. And I've got some water here. I'm not going to spend very long swatching these out. I'll just do it and then I will talk with you when I'm done. Okay, what I have here is this is primary cyan. This is primary yellow. And this is naph naphthalene carmine. It's red. It's, that's what it is. It's red. And then there's some white in here. This is just titanium white. And you'll notice it, it really transparent. And on the right hand side of each one, I did a second coat. And it didn't really help too much. I'm going to get out some golden acrylic and see how it compares to transparency on there. I was, I'm a little disappointed because I know the Golden is a lot more expensive than the Royal Langnickel. And there isn't that vastly of a difference. I see a little bit of moisture might still be here. You can definitely see that the yellow and blue have a lot more transparency. But you know for the price, because I'm pretty sure these were uh, 3 dollars I want to say at Walmart for four ounces. 
And they are, um, I don't know about the pigment quality. These are put out by royalbrush.com. And the golden has three-fourths of an ounce in each one. And if you're just doing something like quick sketches or something that don't really, you know, they're not anything that you're going to be selling for commission, you know, these might suffice for studies or whatnot. Or even with a watercolor technique. Now this one, this one I got from uh, Dollar Tree. And I have several colors here. I didn't get all they had because there were just, there, uh, really there were just too many and I didn't know that I was going to be using it. So I thought just uh, primaries and then a couple other ones would be suffice would suffice. These have three ounce and straight out of the tube that's what what I got in the red. You can see there it's it's almost like it's not even there. And this one was the only blue that they had. And I point this out because it's actually metallic acrylic paint. But I don't see any like metallic look to it. Uh, it says these conforms conforms to ASTM D436 non-toxic, uh, distributed by Greenbrier International, Chesapeake, Virginia, and they were made in China. Two hours later. Well, here's the thing. I wouldn't mess with them. I, I wouldn't even, I, if, I, if it was me, don't buy them. Don't buy them at all. I had my doubts when, um, you know, because the, they're from the Dollar Tree. So each tube was $1.25 for three ounces. But just go to Walmart if you need some, like, cheap paints. These on the top. But the Royal Langnickel is more, but it's going to be more like painting with, with, real paints like the golden or these are so transparent they're like a watercolor but the problem is being an acrylic you won't be able to let's see because it did say it was washable on the container so what i would do i would use these as watercolors i would not use these as acrylics at all i mean you can see how transparent they are and I'm using uh, watercolor paper, but now remember this one is metallic blue, so it might be a little different. But you can get, you can't get uh, totally. Honestly, I'm thinking my four-year-old grandson would probably have fun with these, especially since they're washable. If you're serious about anything, you're probably not going to be looking at Dollar Tree to get any paints anyway, but I thought... You know, I've got to try them in order to be able to say. Okay, and then the next one I have are these. These were also at the Dollar Tree. These are the only ones I got. I've got the four. I, I like that they were in this bottle. It just seemed. And now these do have like a name on them. And you can see... And it just says multi water soluble, multi purpose, premium acrylic paint, acryliology, rich art, non toxic water soluble for arts and crafts, paper, canvas. Also good for screen and block printing, removable from any surfaces with, by washing with warm soapy water and household ammonia. Not recommended for exterior use. All paints can take pigments that may stain clothing and some surfaces. So what are we going to do? We're going to do red first. Let's do red first. Okay, my verdict is these are better than the tubes. If you're going to ha if you have to get something from the Dollar Tree, it's just like, you know, that's your only option. They're, these are, this has six fluid ounces in it too. And these just have, what is it, three? Yeah, three ounces. These perform much better. They're not perfect. They're not as good as like the long nickel or the golden, of course, but they're not 
that far off from the long nickel, in my opinion. This right here is the long nickel, this row right here. And the thing about them is the these and these, appar apparently they're washable, but you can sort of use them like watercolor. So, you know, if that's something that you want to use them for, I can see it being worth the price for that. Or like my thought was I'd use them in my sketchbook for studies and just, you know, watercolorish type techniques. Because I don't think you're going to get enough coverage in these. The next thing I got was I got these, uh, which confused me a little bit because they, they call them tempera watercolors. Now, are they saying they're opaque and that they're like a gouache? Or are they saying, what are they saying? Do tell. It may wind up with another donation to the youngest grandchild. See, I wouldn't even give it to the older grandkids to do serious, serious art. Now, the bottles, I probably would. Yeah, I'm, I, that makes me sad. I spent the money on those, even though it's as little as it is. There are no names on the labels on the uh, warning use of this product by children should be supervised by an adult this is intended for external use at use only and should not be ingested wash skin with soap and water to remove any incidental contamination it says non-toxic conforms to ASTM they are made in China again they're distributed by Greenbrier in International Greenbrier International I don't know if it's thick or is it just dried? Huh? Now these are labeled as watercolors so see how thick that is? I don't know if that's you know if you, if you don't have anything you don't have anything at all to create with and you need something to add some color but I'm wondering actually if these are the same things because look at the look at the red uh, but I would stay away from the crafter's choice crafter square sorry on those that, that makes me sad and then there's a couple of other things I got at Dollar Tree. This one was $3. It's colored pencils. Then I'll do some swatches of that. After my experience with the other Crafter's Choice brand, I had really high doubts that these were going to be any good. But for $3 for a 24-pack of watercolor pencils... I don't think those are bad at all. Of the crafter's choice items, I would say this is the best one. I, I could see myself using these. You know, maybe have this, this be the set you keep in the car or something for like when you're waiting and you need something to, um, something to do some artwork with and you don't want anything that's too messy. These and a, you know, a water brush, I think would, you could do a lot with i'm i'm the only one thing that did bother me is there's nothing on the pencil nothing written at all the colors of the ends don't necessarily match up to what the color is i mean you see how light that is in comparison yeah see like these two were two different colors maybe it's my eyes this one and this one right here were two different pencils but they looked so similar to me i can't tell if this one has a little bit of a blue hue to it to the purplish pink or by water brush i mean like one of these i did see these at dollar tree the first day i noticed they had paints but when i went back there wasn't there weren't any left there weren't any on the shelf so i'm assuming they were just sold out so if you see them and you want them probably want to grab them before they get sold out these were three dollars though and i think of all everything i've tested so far these are the things that i was the most impressed with more of an art tool i saw these glass dropper bottle and you get two of them in the package and this is glass also with the little rubber but there were two of these in the container or the package for a dollar 25 i can see me using these but they're nice they're nice heavy heavy glass uh it says 20 milliliter these two items are definitely worth it now there's two other items that i have here one of them i bought this and it was three dollars 
And again, I don't have a lot of hope for it, but I figure if I don't use them, uh, some of these things might be used for you know, home repair type situations. And these definitely feel cheap. But depending upon your needs, I mean, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about losing them or, you know, loaning them out to somebody and if you're taking a class or whatnot. And I'm referring to the palette knives, not the brush. I don't know about these brushes. They look pretty, pretty inexpensive. Now these thin ones, these little ones, I might actually use these. I don't know if you can see that. But if you think of them as like disposable brushes and not an investment, or maybe if you like to like scrub on the surface, you know, depending upon the technique that you're doing, you know, these might be just the thing that you need. I know, I know, I watch some YouTubers that they they want that rough brush, and then there's a couple of these. You know, maybe I could use these for putting varnish on. Twenty-five piece set. Well, these white acrylic ones don't seem as bad as the others. See, like that cat took a pretty good point. As you can see, I'm pulling out all the white ones because I think they might have hope. Now, I don't know about how many bristles these are going to lose on me while I'm doing something. But the very last thing, they also have canvases there. I just got a canvas board. And it says 100% natural cotton canvas, um, California phase two compliant for formaldehyde, made in India and in imported by Greenbrier. My, my judgment says I would skip the brushes because you can get decent ones, better ones for at like Michaels or whatever in a value pack, in my opinion. If you're going to buy any paints, go ahead and get this Essentials. This is this was at the Walmart, but it's um, I think this one had the best results of the paint. And then second would be these from Dollar Tree. Depending upon what you're doing, I don't know about these canvas panels, but I think they're worth a try. But I would definitely forego forego these Crafter Squares acrylic paint. They're, they're trash to me. I mean, they're and the same thing with these tempera watercolors. Yeah, just I wouldn't mess with them. So that's the results of what I got today, or what I've got in this haul. The archaeology, acryliology, acryl, ac yeah, those. Uh, yeah, those aren't too bad. This and these and the paintbrushes, I would say. Because like I said, I think you can get a better set at like Michael's or something for not much more. Because um, th these were $3 and you can get value packs there that will last you a lot longer and work better. Yeah, but forget about these. So there we have it. That's all I've got for you this time. I hope this helped you in some way. And I hope that you are healthy and happy and safe and that you are able to create to your heart's content. I will see you all next time. Thank you again for being here. I appreciate you more than I can say. And I will see you next time. Bye all.